What's up guys, I'm Jigsaw and in today's video I am going to present you a full Injustice 2 mobile guide. Let's start with the basics. As a beginner, when you first start this game you are going to need to expand your roster fast. Meaning getting a lot of characters to create different teams for different needs. How do you do that? Well, as a new buy, your best way in unlocking characters without paying for them is 1. Farming challenges when they are online, of course. Each challenge offers a new character, so make sure you farm as many shards as you can as the challenge is online. Each challenge has three difficulties. You can refresh these difficulties using gems, or you can just uh, do this, the free ones. Two, you can farm arena. As you can see here, each season it's a different character, and you can get and you can get uh, gems, arena medals, and uh, coins, and also a huge amount of hero shards. Another way to unlock characters is farming uh, campaign heroic. As you can see here besides um, gears and coins and uh, XP capsules, you also get a specific hero shard. You can farm these uh, battles in order to unlock uh, a hero very easy and cheap. Each, each battle in Heroic gives you shards for a specific character. So, make your pick and uh, farm it until you unlock them. Um, also, you can uh, unlock characters very easy if you join a league. I don't know if it um, shows here. Hopefully it does. Yeah, here. You have a chance to drop um, shards for one of these characters. Uh, 160 are for the exclusive uh, League characters and 60 gold hero shards uh, you will get uh, every raid but uh, are for common heroes you will also get the uh, gears and uh, orbs to promote heroes also you can unlock a lot of heroes by buying chests but I will suggest you to stick with the hero chest as a beginner uh, because uh, it's the cheapest one and uh, you have chance for uh, gold heroes, silver heroes and uh, you still got a chance for legendary heroes. Whatever you do as a beginner, avoid chest chests that have uh, the reward probability hero shard like this one for example um, it has a 8% chance uh, for Batman Ninja Gorilla Grad hero shards what hero shards means is that you will get an amount of shards for this specific character but that is not uh, an unlock guarantee you will get those shards, but you will not be able to unlock that character. So it's a total ripoff. Also, do not, do not buy legendary chests. These are also a ripoff. They are very expensive, and you will only drop um, hero shards. And again, you will not be able to unlock them. Like this one, it's uh, 500 gems, which is huge. You can get like 
three hero chests for the, those gems. If you want to donate some money into this game for faster progress, even though I don't encourage you to do that, uh, because this game has uh, the worst updates and you'll probably regret spending money on it, uh, the best things you can buy uh, value-wise are um, these ones. Uh, both beginner growth pack and uh, master growth pack. These are w one of the cheapest offers in the game and uh, the better ones because you will get a huge amount of gems, coins and sims while, while you are leveling up your uh, account. Also, you can buy from um, the store special offers. Now here it is. Also, you can buy this uh, Injustice uh, card and uh, Injustice Elite card. Uh, those are actually pretty cheap and you will get a huge amount of gems each day uh, for uh, a period of uh, 30 days. And uh, if you do some math, you, you will get uh, way more gems than, for example, this uh, Lost uh, Treasures of Atlantis that is way expensive that, uh, than these uh, Elite cards. By the way, avoid uh, at any cost special offers like uh, this one, uh, Poison Ivy 4 star for a huge amount of money. That is clearly not worth it because, because this character is a challenge character and you'll, you'll probably get, uh, get it way sooner and much cheaper. And uh, all of those bundles, uh, Pro Starter Bundle, Starter Bundle, uh, Raid Booster, Raid Booster, Silver, those are a ripoff. For the amount of money they offer so little. And as a beginner, the last thing you should be focusing are um, my bad. Are daily objectives. You need to do this every day because you'll get XP to level up your account. If you bought those elite cards, uh, ob objectives would be crucial for your account. Also, you'll get coins and energy by doing uh, objectives. Now let's get to what you should be focusing on when you first start the game. First thing is campaign. You need to finish both normal and uh, heroic campaign at any cost to be able to farm money, gears and hero shards like this. These are the rewards for um, the last battle in heroic. That should be your top priority as a beginner. Second Story mode. You need to finish this as quick as you can to get some extra gems for your progress. You will receive those gems um, as achievements here. Come on. Yeah. Story mode completes chapter 6. Um, the first chapters, I believe, it will give you gems. After that, it will give you armored Superman hero shards. Again, very useful for a beginner because you can unlock a character for free. Then, um, resource missions. Those will uh, change every day. You need to do those if you want to level up your heroes fast. I am going to show you.
Those missions will give you XP capsules for a specific hero class. Also, I believe uh, once uh, once a week, the um, daily missions will be for coins. So you will be able to farm coins, actually a huge amount of coins by doing uh, resource missions. Now let's focus on things you should invest when you have some gems and coins. First, as a beginner, you should um, heavily invest in operations. I would, I would advise you to max operations level as quick as you can. Here, here you can send heroes to make money, gems, gears uh, when you are away from your phone. And the last, the level of the operations will increase your probability that you will get some drops after the time is over. And uh, again, you'll get some hero shards for a firestorm. Again, unlocking a free character. So as you can see, uh, the more you upgrade it, um, the more. Uh, beneficial it will be for your account also uh, heroes uh, sent in operations cannot be used anywhere until the operations are done so be aware of that um, when you max operations level you can send heroes in for uh, 30 minutes operations and you will gather more gems throughout the day uh, second thing you should invest is uh, this one when you have uh, a lot of gems, you should buy this. Gear resources. Um, this will be your best friend when you first start the game to get uh, gear materials and uh, reforges to level up your hero's gear. And um, that should be another priority of yours um, if you want to build the character um, you should heavily invest on his gears and this those things here would help you make uh, that character more powerful of course this chest is uh, only necessary when you don't have uh, unlock the, the full campaign after that I would advise you to go farm campaign and forget about this chest um, and the best tip I can give you for this uh, game is uh, focus on only one character at a time if you unlock a new hero and you like that character you've seen reviews of that character online and you think it's worth the investment, go and build that character at least to level 40 gears. Do not unlock character after character and throw your resources at all of them. Because you'll end up having 20 characters that will be weak and you won't have enough resources to progress. Uh, one solid build character should get you through all normal and the uh, heroic campaign. The best example I can give you is um, Atlantean Armor Aquaman. I would suggest you unlock that character as fast as you can, either by buying chests or uh, farming his shards in campaign. I believe his fight is around here. Where it is? Here. It's not that far in campaign and you you can unlock him very easy and also cheap. So stick with the campaign and save your gems uh, for uh, gear resources. Um, also you should join a league as fast as you can 
Uh, League is basically a group of players who can help each other with uh, hero shards uh, via donations and you all do missions together here and get the uh, rewards and once every three days you will fight bosses to earn high level gears, hero shards, gear materials and coins. Um, there are plenty of leagues out there who are looking for active members so why not be an active member? Help the league with funding, check in daily and you will benefit more from the raid rewards. Also you should try and join a league that is doing at least raid 4, 5 or 6. In leagues you can also get exclusive characters. Most of them are amazing and uh, will help you progress in the game. For example, King of Atlantis here. Um, this is the best hero in the game in terms of damage. So try to unlock him first with the league credits uh, that you received uh, when the ride is over. And uh, my last tip for a beginner would be have fun, man. Build characters that you love playing with. Don't stress yourself about uh, bugs, about uh, game crashes, uh, and uh, just be a casual player. The, um, this game has a lot of bad things going on, so you shouldn't take it seriously. Uh, just because a guy donated like $3,000 and maxed uh, a specific character doesn't mean that you should do the same. Build your own character however you feel like it suits your playstyle and don't spend uh, all your cash on this game. No matter how much you like a character in this game, I can assure you that it doesn't worth your hard-earned money. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do more injustice to mobile guides. Also, if you want to support me and my channel, I have a Patreon account the link will be down in the description. Peace out.